come in a couple of days later. He said, there's another old dog. I said, that's you again. You've left the cage open. No, I haven't. So we went out and had a look. I said, well, where are they getting out? There's no holes in the cage anywhere. Looked in their sleeping box and I found the tail of what? This big dog ferret had ate two of them. It was a big ferret, grown ferret. Yeah, yeah. Dad, them. Dad telling the story about when I was uh, David Jay's, didn't you? And we lost the ferrets, and it turned out to be this new hob ferret that we got, this big old hob. Yeah. He would put him in with the other ferrets, and he ate them, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So he must have thought that a teacher. We just killed him and ate them. Yeah, that's what, what I found was a bit of a tail. Yeah, so it wasn't really my fault, and I didn't really lose any ferrets. Do you know what? He didn't tell me, so say sorry to me for saying I lost the ferrets. Shot in the future as well. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a moral of a story there for you, David. He's probably lost the ferret. Well, I lost one once, lost one once with a collar on. Yeah, when I was about, well, I was about 12 or 13. What was that, Chippenham? No, that was at Morgan's Hill. Yeah. 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 And then, do you, well, I told you the story about with the, uh, with the with the fox that ate the ferret when we were ferreting, and then we dug him out in there. Got eight pound for the, for the fox skin. Oh, we got here. I didn't get any of that pocket money. <laughs> oh well. What'd you say then, David? Some nice old stories from my old dad there. You know what'd you say? Over John Macker. And a thumbs up as well. <laughs>